Hey guys, Toby here and today I want to show you how to beat Farrod the Soul Taker at the Ancient Village. The cavalry is here, the so the boss comes with a lot of adds, so try to focus those down. Also I did start the boss from this side, because here I have this big tree where I can kite him around. It will be of big use later on. Then the boss will spawn those banshees, they are pretty weak, but if you are in their line of sight, they will start to charge up and then charge into you. So that's where the tree comes into play, you can kite him around there and let the banshees just run out. Because they don't stay forever, since just, as you can see there are, there are no banshees now here anymore and I did not kill all of them. This Benji here is just another mo a mob that's got Agrod with him. The charge of those Benjis is really slow as you could see, so you have enough time to dodge that. Then to the boss itself, he has his counter, you don't want to hit that, he's only doing the counter when you are in melee range after some time. So right now he will counter again. And now his counter is on cooldown, that means if you would do him in, with melee you could go for him. But after a couple seconds you should be aware of that counter again. That's why I would also suggest to do this boss in range. Then to his other ability, he turns invisible every now and then. And then he will hit you for, also at least me, he did hit for like 50 when he comes out of that invisibility. Yeah, 58 it was. So that hits like a truck. So once you notice he's going invisible, try to get ready to block, counter or dash. Because you cannot take too many of those hits. And should you hit, hit his counter ability, he will also turn invisible, as you can see here now. And he will immediately do his hit out of stealth, but I think he did just hit my skeleton there. That's another reason to use the bone shield for this one. So once def you defeated him, you will unlock the Phantom's Veil. Spectral Dust in the Grinder, Banshee in the Tomb, and Mist Trance. That's a quite nice counter attack in my opinion, because you, you are countering, once you get hit, you are able to teleport somewhere around. And where you land, you knock everything back. And as addition, you're also resetting your second ability cooldown. So that's, I think, is a pretty strong counter, and I'm also thinking if I maybe take it into my skill set. And yeah, that was Farrod the Soul Taker. Thanks for watching. Please consider like and subscribe. And I hope we see each other again.